Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, you are located. Thank you all so much for joining the Amtrak Vacations as today we feature our top 10 rail vacations in the United States and Canada. First and foremost, let me just take a minute to introduce myself. My name is Jim Marini and I will proudly be your presenter here today. And hopefully we have uh, many of you that have joined us on previous presentations here, our online presentation series. And as you can see in the top left-hand corner, just as our way of saying thank you, at the end of today's presentation, one lucky person will win a $100 Amtrak Vacations gift card to be used towards any rail vacation that you would like to travel on in 2018. I also want to mention in the top right-hand corner at the end, I will be announcing an exclusive discount uh, for those of you, again, who took time out of your busy schedule to join myself here today. Once again, folks, we have a fantastic turnout, over 1,000 people joining us throughout today and throughout this evening to hear more about our top 10 rail vacations. If you have a pen and paper, everyone, I'd encourage all of you, please feel free to write down our 1-800 number that's in the bottom right-hand corner, or certainly you can book any of these exciting packages through your local travel agent, so keep that in mind. You can also view any of these exciting itineraries that I highlight here today, or certainly any others, on our website, and that's listed in the bottom left-hand corner. That's www.amtrackvacations.com. As I go through today's presentation, everyone, please feel free to type away any questions that you may have, and I will do my very best to answer as many as I can uh, at the end of today's presentation, which is scheduled to be about 45 minutes, give or take, okay? So with that in mind, let's begin. So first and foremost, everyone, why Amtrak vacations? Now, hopefully many of you have traveled on board Amtrak. Well, a few years ago, we reached out to many of our travelers worldwide, not only here in the United States, but from all over the world who've traveled with Amtrak vacations and just asked them why. Well, these were actually the reasons given to us, and hopefully some of these reasons are the same reasons that you're joining us here today. One of the top reasons, as you can see, all the way to the left-hand side, it is a bucket list experience. So to be able to travel on board the train, have your meals included uh, for any overnight journeys if you're in a sleeper, uh, whether it's a roomette or a bedroom, to stay in some of the beautiful lodges out in the national parks, have sightseeing tours included, maybe a Broadway show in New York City. It is a bucket list experience. Also, room to roam, another popular reason that was given to us. You can get up, walk around, stretch your legs, enjoy all that the train has to offer. Go to the observation car, um, go to the, uh, the, the dining car if you choose, okay? Lots of great options. Also, did you know it's less hassle? Uh, that was a popular reason given to us. You can arrive at the train station, everyone, as close into departure as only 30 to 45 minutes prior to departure versus many of us who fly, as we know, we have to arrive two to three hours ahead of time. So keep that in mind. Also, city to city service. I mentioned New York City a minute ago, but as an example, Penn Station in New York City, there really is not a better station as far as in the heart of any city to arrive. You are within the heart of Times Square, within blocks of Broadway. Well, the same applies to even some of our beautiful national parks, such as Glacier National Park. Did you know the train station is only about 209 steps away from Glacier Park Lodge, okay? So again, many of our travelers love how the train literally takes you into the heart of all the great cities in the United States. Also, satisfy your hunger. Just a reminder, when you upgrade to either a roomette or a bedroom, which will be part of our sleep-in categories for any overnight journey, everyone, all of your meals will be included during that overnight journey from one city until you arrive in the next city. So that's a big, big highlight. So please keep that in mind. And by the way, food is fresh, made to order. We have private chefs on board the train, everyone. It is fantastic on any of the overnight journeys. And last but not least, flexibility. We have daily departures, and in some cases, multiple departures daily, certainly throughout some of the major cities in the United States. Now, where does Amtrak travel to? You know, I always love showing this map at the beginning of all of my presentations. Believe it or not, Amtrak travels to 46 out of the 48 states within the continental United States. In fact, 
The only two states the train does not physically go through within the continental United States are the states of South Dakota and Wyoming. Otherwise, we travel all throughout the great country right here in the U.S. And if you look above our country, you see the beautiful country of Canada, our friendly neighbors, where you could take Amtrak and cross right into Canada through the great cities of Montreal, Toronto, or Vancouver, where then you can board on Via Rail, which is the National Train of Canada, just like Amtrak is here in the United States. And again, we here at Amtrak Vacations, or certainly a local travel agent, can handle all of these reservations for you and take care of a rail vacation of a lifetime. Now, I did have some fun little pitches I wanted to share with all of you. I hope you enjoy these. Now, for those of you that haven't been on board Amtrak, or even if you have, rest assured, there are no middle seats, everyone, on board the train, right? And I'm sure some of us, including myself, we've been in this, this type of middle seat when we have flown, right? Well, there's two extra large seats on one side, two extra large seats on the other side on all Amtrak trains. There's also no need to spend your day sitting in traffic. You know, we have a slogan here at Amtrak Vacations, and that is, why not take the road less traveled? There's also no need to be confined to your motor coach or bus seats on board. Okay, again, we want you to get up, walk around. It's one of the most popular reasons that have been given to us for so many of our travelers worldwide. It's some interesting trivia for all of you. Did you know last year alone, just last year, over 32 million people traveled on board Amtrak, over 32 million people. If Amtrak was an airline, it would be the fifth largest airline in the United States. So very comfortable, very spacious, and we all know what the view looks like when we fly in a plane on the left-hand corner. Why not experience what it looks like on board the train, all right? So with that in mind, let me just highlight our different travel styles. Now, again, today is our 10 most popular rail vacations in the United States and Canada, and I'm going to be highlighting a few of our different travel styles today. Our most popular is our independent rail journeys, as you can see at the top right there. These are typically 5, 7, 10, up to 12 and 14 days in length. They're daily departures, multi-city or multi-destinational trips. Um, we have some free time as well as uh, some sightseeing and uh, touring included as well. So it's just a, a beautiful combination of everything. We also have rail experiences. So for those of you joining myself and Amtrak Vacations here today that are really more passionate and excited about the different types of trains, well, we have some great products for you. We have family adventures, which I've had the pleasure of traveling on myself with my wife and three children. Places like the beautiful Grand Canyon, Washington, D.C., Niagara Falls, just to name a few. We have three, four, and five day rail getaways. So for those of you that are just looking for a nice little getaway, if you're here in the East Coast and you wanna maybe head down to Philadelphia or up to Boston, or maybe if you're in Chicago and wanna head out to uh, St. Louis or Minneapolis or even the West Coast, travel uh, locally for three or four days, we have those options available. We also have rail and sail packages out to beautiful Alaska. So why not combine a cruise with maybe even a beautiful national park or the beautiful Pacific Northwest? And last but not least, and you'll hear me mention this throughout today's presentation, any trip that I highlight here today or certainly any trip on our website, any of them can be customized, everyone, to start and or end wherever you would like. So I'm filling a little trivia for all of you. There's actually over 500 Amtrak stations that you can start and or end your trip. So for those of you joining myself who may not like to fly, you can start at your local Amtrak station, and, and either we here at Amtrak Vacations or your local travel agent can arrange your entire trip start to finish and customize it to be as long or as short as you would like. So keep that in mind. Lots of options. And speaking of options, great options and how to book any of these exciting packages that I highlight here today or any other packages, folks, just pick up that phone, give us a call. You know, I was thinking before today's presentation, what a great holiday gift this could be, not only for yourselves, but maybe even a gift for one of your family members or one of your friends to be able to travel on a rail vacation. I can't tell you how many times we have bookings from people that are buying trips for themselves and or family and friends as a holiday or a birthday or anniversary gift. Why not do the same? You could visit 
us on our website, as you see right there in the middle of the screen. Again, it's www.amtrackvacations.com. Or again, as I've mentioned before, and I'll mention throughout, any of these trips can be booked through your local travel agent who also can book flights for any of you as well. So if you want to fly one way, okay, or fly round trip to and or from the starting and ending city, your travel agent can also book flights for you as well as, in, as the entire package. So keep that in mind. All right, let's begin, everyone. So our first of our 10 most popular rail vacations in the United States is one that has been absolutely spectacular, everyone. This is our Grand National Parks. Not only do you get three amazing train experiences in one package, you get three amazing national parks. Now, if you take a look at the map here, everyone, as you can see, it starts and ends in the great city of Chicago. So it is round trip from Chicago. So as an example, for any of you located in the south or, or the east coast or the west, and you're wondering, okay, well, how do I get to Chicago? Again, you can fly to and from Chicago. And of course, they have Chicago O'Hare, there's Midway, two of the major airports. Or again, you can start right from your local Amtrak station and travel to and from Chicago, where then you can experience this trip. The first train that you journey on is known as the California Zephyr. This is spectacular, everyone. I had the chance of traveling on this train just about a year and a half ago, and it literally slices. When I say slices, it literally slices through the mountains, uh, certainly when you reach uh, the beautiful state of Colorado. As you can see, you spend one night in Salt Lake City before heading up to the beautiful Yellowstone National Park for two nights. Now, when you travel to Yellowstone National Park, everyone, just so you know, that's not on board the train. That's actually a motor coach bus because the train does not physically go up to Yellowstone. However, it's such a major iconic national park here in the United States, we have to include it. So this is one of many reasons this is one of our top 10 most popular packages. From there, it's then another overnight journey on the California Zephyr, where then you spend two nights in San Francisco with a day trip to Yosemite before heading south through Los Angeles for a night and then an overnight out to Williams before heading into the Grand Canyon for an evening and then heading back to Chicago. Now again, what's the highlight of this trip? Not only the three amazing train experiences, but three amazing national parks. Now, here's the first national park you'll have a chance to experience and that is Yellowstone National Park. As I mentioned, it leaves from Salt Lake City. It's about a five to six hour uh, a sightseeing uh, bus ride along the way. There's stops along the way. Uh, once you get up into Yellowstone, again, you do spend two nights at Yellowstone National Park. And one of the days you'll be treated, as you can see on the right-hand side, for a sightseeing tour of the lower loop. And folks, this is great. This is a full day guided tour. Typically, it departs right from your uh, hotel or, or a location uh, right nearby that uh, a shuttle or, or it could be walking distance to begin the trip. You'll meet some other fellow travelers. You'll, again, have a tour guide. He or she will take you throughout the park. Again, full day tour, bring you right back at the end of the day. And again, you'll also have some free time. And that's pretty much how a lot of our national parks um, sightsee and tours operate. Yosemite is no different. This actually will uh, take place as a full day guided tour from San Francisco. We will head out to Yosemite on a motor coach bus. You'll have a full day, again, guided sightseeing tour of Yosemite. And typically, this is with a local guide or a ranger, okay, who will take you throughout. And they'll make stops along the way um, as you're traveling in, in your motor coach bus so you can get out, get some fresh air, take some pictures. Um, any of the stops, folks, they'll be anywhere from 15 minutes to a, a half an hour uh, in, in length. And then, again, you'll have time to have some lunch. It's, it's just a real, uh, real treat for all of you. And, of course, one of the best highlights is the Grand Canyon National Park. You know, Grand Canyon is considered to be one of the seven wonders of the world. You know, last year alone, over 5 million people visited the Grand Canyon. And as you can see on the right-hand side, we do include round-trip service and coach accommodations to the Grand Canyon. And this is a on the Grand Canyon Railway, which is a, a rustic style train that departs from Williams, Arizona. It's only about an hour and a half to two hours long, so it's a lot of fun. So I should mention, not only do you have three amazing train experiences on Amtrak, three amazing national parks, but you actually get even an additional train experience when you travel on the Grand Canyon Railway. Now once you get into the Grand Canyon, by the way, almost all of our national parks packages, everyone, you get to stay inside the lodges, inside 
the parks. And folks, I can't tell you how exciting that is. Okay, many of these lodges, as some of you may be aware, they sell out one to two years in advance, okay? We can get space most of the time. Lodges in the Grand Canyon, such as El Tavar, Maswick Lodge, Yavapai, just to name a few. On the right-hand side, we do include a motor coach freedom tour of the Grand Canyon South Rim. And again, this will take place with a local tour guide or a ranger who will take you throughout the park for uh, a good uh, full day so you get some great sightseeing included. This trip itself, everyone, 13 days, 12 nights, starting as low as $28.99. Now, all the prices that you see here today, everyone, as well as on our website, pricing is based in coach seating on the train. So if you want to upgrade, it's a minimal charge to go from a coach seat to a roomette. And as I mentioned earlier, when you upgrade to either a roomette or a bedroom, when you're in a sleeper on board the train, as many of you may be aware, all of your meals are included during each of the overnight journey. So um, you have multiple options on this particular trip to upgrade to a roomette or a bedroom. And again, I'll go over the difference of how they vary a little later in today's presentation. But this is absolutely fantastic. And again, round trip from Chicago. So you get to either fly a round trip uh, if you choose and then do this entire train journey. Or again, you can start right from your local Amtrak station and you um, can go completely uh, on board the train. And speaking of trains, everyone, I talked about rail experiences uh, as one of our different travel styles at the beginning of today's presentation. This is for those of you joining myself who really you're more excited about the train versus the destination, okay? So this package has three of the most popular overnight long distance journeys to experience all in one trip. This is called our Northern Rail Experience. The first train that you travel on is called the Empire Builder. Now folks, this takes you right from Chicago all the way to Seattle. Absolutely fantastic. I actually just went on this train recently. Typically it departs um, it typically mid to late afternoon and again it's a, a two night journey and you go all the way out, cross it through the beautiful plains and Montana and some of the beautiful mountains before arriving in Seattle and then once you spend an evening in Seattle you then board the next train which actually for the last two years has been uh, listed as the most scenic train ride in the United States. This is the Coast Starlight. Now this train everyone will take you from Seattle down to San Francisco, all right, crossing through the beautiful state of Washington, Oregon before Northern California, where, again, then you'll spend two nights in San Francisco. Once you leave San Francisco, it's on the California Zephyr, and this is heading back to Chicago at the end of the trip. But everyone, take a look at the price. Look at how inexpensive this is. Starting as low as $13.99, it's more expensive to stay home. Why not experience one of these fantastic rail uh, vacations of a lifetime. Nine days, eight nights, and again, just a reminder, whether it's this trip or any trip you're interested in, everyone, did you know with Amtrak Vacations, you can customize any rail package to fit your vacation needs. So please keep that in mind, lots and lots of flexibility. Speaking of flexibility, everyone, for those of you that are interested more in maybe a little shorter getaway trips, again, these are our 10 most popular uh, rail vacations. Here's one that certainly never disappoints any of our travelers called Rails to the Grand Canyon. Now, if you look at this map right in front of you, as you can see, it is round trip from Los Angeles. So some of you uh, located in the beautiful West Coast, you might just be able to board right there locally. Others of you may want to travel cross country on the train and then journey on this trip or even fly round trip to and from Los Angeles where then you can experience this great trip. Now this is on the train known as the Southwest Chief and as you can see it's an overnight journey going out to Williams, it's an overnight journey coming back but the real highlight is you spend not one but two fantastic nights inside the Grand Canyon and our feeling here at Amtrak Vacations everyone and I'm sure many of you agree if you're going to travel to the beautiful national parks you really want to be inside uh, the national parks. You want to be in the heart of where it all takes place. You know, interesting uh, facts about the Grand Canyon. Do you know it's up to 277 miles long? It's a year-round national park. So for those of us located in areas of the United States or around the world that gets to be a little bit cooler uh, or snowier or rainier during certain times of the year, 
why not travel here when it's cooler or colder where, where we may be located? Again, this goes January through December. It's up to 6,000 feet deep. And they say some of the rocks at the bottom of the Grand Canyon, everyone, is estimated to be up to 2 billion years old. Absolutely amazing. Again, one of the seven wonders of the world. And look at this starting from price, everyone. As low as 649. Now, again, just a reminder, the prices that you see, they do not include how to get to and from the starting and ending city. And pricing is based in coach, again, with the option to upgrade to a roomette or a bedroom, which, again, I'm going to highly recommend. Hopefully, many of you have experience overnighting in a roomette or bedroom because, again, you have your own private accommodations and you get all your meals included. So definitely consider doing that on any trip that involves an overnight train journey. Now, moving to the next package, Peaks to the Pacific. Now, as you can see, some of our most popular packages do include and highlight the national parks, but not all of them. So today you're going to get a nice mix, okay? Two nights in Denver, two nights in Salt Lake City, two in Yellowstone before the last two nights in San Francisco. And folks, this is on the California Zephyr. As I mentioned, it starts in the great city of Denver. So for those of you that may have just joined us, okay, if you're wondering, well, how do I get to Denver? I'm located in Texas, or I'm in Florida or New York. How do I get there? Again, you have the option, everyone, to fly to and or from the starting and ending city. Um, and certainly your local travel agent can help you with any flight arrangements as well as booking the entire package for you. Or you can start right from your local Amtrak station and travel out on this trip and then travel cross country back home depending on uh, where you are starting. But this is a great city known as the Mile High City. We will include a sightseeing tour of the Colorado Rocky Mountains before, of course, heading to Yellowstone National Park for two nights. And again, just like some of the previous packages, you will have a guided tour of the Yellowstone National Park lower loop tour. We'll also head to Yosemite. And again, that's a full day guided tour right from San Francisco. This trip itself, everyone, 10 days, nine nights, starting as low as $18.49 per person. Now, unlike a couple of the other packages, which start and end in the same city, this one starts in Denver and it ends in San Francisco. By the way, any of these trips can also go in either direction. So some of you maybe in the West Coast who may want to start in San Francisco and end in Denver, you can do that as well, okay? So any trip can go east to west or west to east. So definitely keep that in mind as well. On most long distance trains, all meals are included. Again, this is a reminder, everyone, when you upgrade to a sleeping accommodation, which again, I will talk about in just a little bit. So stay tuned to hear more about that. Now, moving forward, outside of the national parks, how about this one, everyone? Jazz, blues, and rock and roll. Now, this is on the train known as City of New Orleans, okay? That's the train from Chicago down through Memphis, down into New Orleans. And this is a, an amazing trip. Always consistently in our top 10 most popular rail vacations. As you can see, it's an overnight journey from Chicago down to Memphis. And again, pricing on all of these trips that I'm highlighting here today or, or on our website or in our brochure, pricing is all based in coach seating with the option to upgrade to a roomette or a bedroom. And again, I'll explain the differences in a little bit. I did want to mention one point as well. On all of the maps that you see here, okay, and all the great cities and destinations you get to stay in, did you know you also get to choose what style hotel accommodation you would like to stay in. So some of you may uh, be looking for a nice property, a little more affordable, like a, such as a Holiday Inn. Others of you may want to stay at hotels maybe a little, a little uh, more upscale, maybe a little more uh, centrally located. Well, folks, in Chicago, as an example, we use the Holiday Inn. We also use the Westin, which is located right on Michigan Avenue. And we even use the Palmer House Hilton Hotel. All right, absolutely amazing. All right, and again, you get multiple options and choices to choose from anywhere from three, four, up to five star hotels. Now, Chicago for me, always one of my absolute favorite, favorite cities. As you can see, we include a multi-day hop on, hop off sightseeing tour. If you have not been to Chicago, everyone, please, please take advantage of their deep dish pizza. It is unbelievable. 
um, Lou Malnati's, Giordano's, just to name a couple. Even if you're a sports fan or you're not a sports fan, maybe visit in Wrigley Field, home of the Chicago Cubs. They have a great comedy club called Second City. These are some of the great highlights and attractions that you could take advantage of during your leisure time, during your free time. It is fantastic, okay? Um, so again, keep that in mind. Now, once you leave Chicago, again, it is an overnight train uh, on the train known as City of New Orleans that brings you into Memphis. And when you arrive in Memphis, you'll be treated for a platinum tour, including Graceland. So this is a lot of fun. Again, we'll spend two nights here, and then before you know it, we travel throughout the day, and we arrive in one of my favorite cities in, in the United States, and that's New Orleans. New Orleans has such a, a great influence of Spanish and French cuisine, culture, architecture, um, cafe, lattes, beignets. Some of you uh, may have experienced some of them as well. Uh, beignets are almost like fried dough with sugar and cinnamon. and um, Just it's absolutely delicious. Um, you know, a jambalaya, Cajun-style cuisine. Now, as you can see on the right-hand side, we do include a battlefield cruise uh, on a paddle wheel boat as well as a city tour of New Orleans. This trip itself, everyone, nine days, eight nights. Look at that price, everyone it's more expensive to stay home, right? We all live once, why not see all that this beautiful country has to offer? And again, pricing based in coach seating with the option to upgrade to either a roommate or a bedroom, all right? So keep this trip in mind, again, starting in Chicago, traveling to Memphis, and ending in New Orleans. Now, one of our other top 10 most popular packages, Grand Rail Experience. So just like our Northern Rail Experience, for those of you that are interested more in the trains versus the destination, here's a trip to consider as well, okay? This one, as you can see, is really a, a full circle tour of the United States, Seattle, Los Angeles, New Orleans, D.C., and again, back to Chicago. So let's just kind of walk you through. The first city is Seattle, where we do have a hop-on, hop-off tour. Um, again, this is on the train known as the Empire Builder. Absolutely fantastic. As you can see there in the background, that is the Seattle Space Needle. Um, I've had the pleasure of traveling to this great city. So much to see and do. So this is the first city you spend an evening at. From there, it's on the Coast Starlight. Again, rated one of the top two most scenic, most scenic train routes in the United States, where we spend a, uh, an evening in Los An Angeles, home of Hollywood, home of Beverly Hills. I used to live in Southern California myself for about eight years, and weather is in the 60s to 70s, very little to no humidity, absolutely amazing, okay? From there, then we travel from Los Angeles out to New Orleans, spend some time in this great city. From New Orleans, we travel up north to our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. And by the way, you'll be treated for a Monuments by Moonlight tour. And if you're not familiar with Monlight, Monuments by Moonlight, it's basically a, a guided tour that we include in the evening at nighttime. Everything's illuminated. Uh, the lights are out. It's absolutely beautiful. You get a chance to see so many great monuments. And as many of you may know, some of these, um, some of these museums uh, and certainly monuments, they are free of charge because they're part of the Smithsonian collection. So you can really... I uh, see so much that they have available right here in our nation's capital. And they do have some fantastic uh, new monuments and, and new museums that have opened as well. This trip itself, everyone, 14 days, 13 nights, starting as low as 1849. All right, so again, keep this trip in mind. And again, just a reminder, any trip can be customized to be as long as or as short as you would like. Now, today it is the top 10 most popular rail vacations, not only in the United States, but also Canada. So I certainly have to make sure we mention one of our top 10, which also is in Canada. This is our Canadian Rockies Discovery Eastbound with Seattle. So as you can see, if you look at the map here, everyone, it starts in the great city of Seattle where you spend one night, and then you travel north, okay, on the train known as the Cascades, travel north up into Canada. You actually cross the border, arrive into Vancouver where you'll spend three nights traveling to beautiful Victoria for a day before overnighting on the train known as the Canadian, which is part of Via Rail. And again, Via Rail is the national train of Canada, just like Amtrak is the national train here in the United States. From there, you then spend two nights in Jasper, two nights in Banff before the last evening in Calgary. And again, you get to choose what style hotel accommodations you would like to stay at. 
and you have the choice to even stay at some of the Fairmont properties, which are five-star hotels, five-star being the highest star available. So again, you get to choose. But let me kind of walk you through this trip itself. As I mentioned, it starts in the great city of Vancouver, home of the 1988 Winter Olympics. We have a hop-on, hop-off city tour. You'll visit the Vancouver Lookout. And as I mentioned, you actually travel to the beautiful uh, city of Victoria located on Vancouver Island. All right. And uh, over in Victoria, they also have the Empress Hotel. And typically around 2 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon every day, you'll be treated for an afternoon tea. So we include that when you travel to Victoria. It's also home to the Bouchard Gardens. Now, what's the real highlight of this trip? It's right here, everyone, the beautiful and breathtaking and majestic Canadian Rockies. Now, this trip, very similar to um, some of our national parks in the U.S., such as Yellowstone, such as Glacier, this is a seasonal national park. So what does that mean? It means it does not operate January through December, as does the Grand Canyon. This destination is only available pretty much from the end of May through the beginning of September. Here's the best news, everyone. We already have dates, rates, prices already finalized for all of 2018. So again, pick up that phone or visit or call your local travel agent to book any of these exciting trips. Did I mention Jasper as well? We include an ice fields parkway excursion, uh, including a ride on board an ice explorer. Absolutely amazing. This trip itself, everyone, 11 days, 10 nights, again, starting in Seattle, ending in Calgary. So again, for those of you who are wondering, well, how do I get to Seattle? How do I get for home from Calgary? Again, your local travel agent can help you with flights to and or from and book the entire package for you. Or you could travel locally right from your Amtrak station uh, and then travel back uh, as well. And again, we or your local travel agent can help you with all of your arrangements. Now, the last couple trips that I want to highlight, one is another little getaway trip, and this is our Glacier National Park getaway, which happens to be round trip from Chicago. So again, for those of you that are looking for just a little bit shorter trip, keep this trip in mind. Now, I talked about location of the train station. This is the train station, everyone, located at Glacier National Park. It is fantastic and again as I mentioned it's only 209 steps away from Glacier Park Lodge which is directly behind the train station you can definitely easily walk or they have a shuttle service that will take you to and from Glacier Park Lodge so keep that in mind this trip itself 1699 so again great value and again pricing is based in coach seating and how you get to and from Chicago is up to you. Again, we can help you with uh, traveling right from your local Amtrak station, or certainly you could book flights and your local travel agent could help you with that as well. So keep that in mind. Pacific Northwest. This one is always a popular trip of ours. So let me walk you through this trip. It starts in San Francisco for two nights, known as the City by the Bay. Absolutely amazing. One of my favorite cities when I got married years ago, it was actually the first city that I went to. Um, absolutely amazing Italian food, um, Asian style cuisine, seafood. All right, we also include a tour of Muir Woods and we have Sausalito. From there, we travel north up into Portland, which is a lot of fun. I'll tell you, Portland is a great city that's really an up and coming city, everyone that more and more visitors are traveling to. It's almost a hidden gem. You know, a very, uh, they have uh, great um, areas in the city, uh, lots of great art, some great nightlife. Uh, we do include a multi-day hop-on, hop-off tour, which is a nice way to travel throughout the city without having to rent a car um, or hire a, or get a taxi, all right? And before you know it, we arrive then in Seattle. And as I mentioned, I did travel to Seattle. That's actually a picture of myself in the top left-hand corner in the middle um, with some of my fellow coworkers um, right at the top of a, a rooftop bar, right overlooking the beautiful uh, waterfront area. On the top right-hand side, um, that's from the Chihuly Garden and Glass Museum. If you look at the bottom left-hand corner, that's actually at the Public Market Center. Some of you may have been there. This is where they're known for throwing the large fish over all the tourist heads. And uh, it's just a, a sight to see. It's absolutely amazing. A lot of the, uh, the, the uh, people that work there, they really uh, they do a great show for everyone. Also, the first Starbucks that ever opened up, which is still open up, uh, open right there, opened in 1971, and it's pretty amazing to think 
It opened in this cute little market back in 1971, and it's now a worldwide iconic brand in the United, really, not only in the United States, but all over the world. In the bottom right-hand corner, that was at the top of the Seattle Space Needle. This trip itself, eight days, seven nights, starting as low as $14.99. And the last trip out of our top 10, rounding our top 10, is Charleston and Savannah. So again, for those of you looking for some shorter little getaways, we have those available. And again, any trip can be customized to be as long or as short as you would like, okay? So just let us know, let your local travel agent know, and we will help you with any of those arrangements. And by the way, we have over 300 different options to choose from within the United States and Canada, all right? Anywhere from three, four, five days up to one and two weeks in length. So depending on where and when you're looking to travel, we can help you do that. So let's talk about life on board Amtrak, okay? So first and foremost, let me just mention to all of you, you are allowed up to two pieces of luggage, up to 50 pounds, 5-0, 50 pounds each. And here's the best part, everyone, free of charge. There's no charge for luggage, everyone. You're allowed up to two pieces per person, and you're allowed up to two carry-on bags per person. So that is a huge Huge advantage. We all know many of the airlines, there are charges to bring your luggage. With Amtrak, there is not. Now, the first picture I want to leave up here is just for a minute, and this is our coach accommodation. So all the trips that I highlighted here today, everyone, all the prices that you saw, they're all based in coach accommodations. And as I mentioned at the beginning, there are no middle seats, everyone, right? So two extra large seats on one side, two extra large seats on the other. But look at the leg room right here, everyone. Look at the leg room. Absolutely amazing. By the way, wireless is available free of charge throughout many of the major cities. You have a, a lot of space above the overhead to store your carry-on bags. Now, for those of you traveling overnight on the train, this is when we recommend either staying in a roomette or a bedroom. So let me explain the difference for just a minute. Roomettes, for us, are by far our most popular category of any sleep and accommodation that we have on board the train, by far. On an average, it's only about two to three hundred dollars extra per person to upgrade from a coach seat to a roomette. And as I mentioned, when you are in a roomette or a bedroom, not only do you have your own private accommodations, everyone, but all of your meals will be included during the overnight journey from one city to the next city that you arrive in. So keep that in mind. As you can see, it does fit two people inside of a room. During the day, the lower bunk bed opens up, folds into two chairs that face each other. That is the picture that you are looking at right here. A table can fold down, as you see right here. You can play cards, watch a, a movie on your own iPad, maybe read a book, or enjoy the beautiful scenery right from the comfort of your room. Now, above the window is the top bunk bed that folds down in the evening. But if you look at the diagram in the bottom right-hand corner, what do you not see? What you don't see is a toilet or shower inside of the roomette. But here's the great news, everyone. Remember, it's our most popular category. Why? Because right down the hall, just like you'd have in your own home or, or condo or apartment, right down the hall, there is typically four toilets and two showers. And the only people that have access to those toilets and showers are the people that are in roomettes and bedrooms and the one sleeping car. Now, if you do want your own private toilet and shower inside of your room, no worries, we have you covered. That is a bedroom. And bedrooms typically fit two adults, one small child, but they do have its own private toilet and shower inside the room. But let's talk about cuisine. Because again, when you are in either a roomette or a bedroom, everyone, all of your meals are included at no additional charge. This is a huge, huge highlight, everyone. Meals are sit-down meals, fresh food made to order. If you have any special dietary requests, just let us know or let your local travel agent know. We can help you with any of those uh, accommodations. You can also order off the menu, everyone. So as an example, when I just traveled recently myself out to Glacier National Park, I had a choice of omelets, eggs, waffles, French toast, which by the way, was absolutely delicious. If you uh, have that as an option, please get the French toast. Um, we had coffee, tea, scones, orange juice, apple juice. Okay, lunchtime, as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, cheeseburgers, turkey clubs, salads. In the evening, pasta, fish, uh, steak. By the way, they're known for their signature steak 
absolutely amazing, not to mention the desserts are delicious. So you get to order off the menu, and the only items not included when it comes to any of the meals and cuisine on board when you're in a room at or a bedroom would be any alcoholic beverages that you order during the meals, as well as tips and gratuities for the waiter or waitress. So the last portion of today's presentation before um, we announce today's winner and we open it up to some questions is, again, feel free to go online, everyone. You can certainly see more about these top 10 rail vacations that I highlighted here today or certainly any others. Uh, and again, how do you book these trips, everyone? What a great holiday gift for yourself and or your family or friends. Pick up that phone. Our agents are here waiting as we speak. You can visit our website as well as contact your local travel agent who are absolutely amazing professionals in the business. And again, they can help you with flights as well if you want to fly one way or fly round trip as well as even help you customize any trip uh, that you would like to. You asked, we answered. So I want to highlight just a few quick uh, questions that typically have come up uh, over the course of the last uh, um, few series of doing webinars. Uh, and I'll go through these. Can you begin the packages in one city and do part of the package? The answer is yes, absolutely, because again, any trip can be customized to be as long or as short as you would like. Second question, are the hotels included in packages? Yes, they are. And again, you get to choose between either a three, four, up to a five-star hotel. It just depends on what your budget is. The next question is, can we add days in the national parks to Amtrak vacation packages? The answer is yes, absolutely you can. So please take advantage of doing that if you want to spend more nights in the parks. Again, we can get space inside those lodges, uh, the, the lodges and hotels that are very hard to get space. So if you want more nights, we can absolutely add extra nights. The next one is, are you permitted to bring your own wine? on the train if we enjoy in private? The answer is yes, you can actually bring your own alcoholic beverages as long as you're in a sleeper, okay? So you have to either be in a roomette or a bedroom and it has to be consumed from the privacy of your own roomette or bedroom, but it is allowed, okay? And last but not least, how many sleeping rooms are there on each train? Typically there's 15 to 20 roomettes and about seven to 10 uh, bedrooms per train car and typically there's anywhere from two to four train cars uh, sleeping cars rather on any of our trips now let's talk about some exciting discounts that we have available so folks if you got a pen and paper please feel free to write these down any of you joining us today that is over the over the age of 62 you get up to 15 one five 15 percent off on the rail portion of a package now no two discounts are combinable, so it's only one discount applies per person. Any of you that are looking to travel with your children or grandchildren, if they're between the ages of 2 and 12, they get up to 55 oh, 50% 50 off on the rail portion of any Amtrak vacations. And last time I checked, I haven't heard any airlines offering anything even close to that. This is fantastic. I have traveled with my wife and three children in the last four years. This is why, everyone. This is amazing, okay? Military, first and foremost, thank you so much for your service. Any active duty military personnel, their spouses and their dependents get a 10% discount off on the rail portion of any package. But what's the exclusive attendee discount for today for joining us? Well, if you have a pen and paper or you have an iPhone uh, or, a, or a mobile device, take a picture, everyone. Any of you that book, okay, any rail vacation package next year with the Amtrak vacation, you get $100 off per couple, otherwise $50 off per person, as long as you book by December 27th, which is exactly in two weeks from today. And that's to travel anytime in 2018, whether it's one of our existing packages or one of our top 10 that I highlighted here today, or even a customized package. As long as you upgrade on any overnight train, on a package to either a roomette or a bedroom, we're going to take off an additional $100 per couple. Otherwise, again, $50 off per person. Pick up the phone, give us a call, or contact your local travel agent. So with that in mind, okay, we have a winner to announce, and then we have uh, definitely some, some questions. And I see, again, we have so many questions. Today's webinar is scheduled for approximately 50 minutes. So um, I will get to as many questions as I can, and any questions I do not 
get to today, again, give us a call or contact your local travel agent who can help you answer any of those questions. So first and foremost, the winner of today's $100 Amtrak Vacations gift certificate is Peggy Carilli. Peggy Carilli, congratulations. You are today's winner of our $100 Amtrak Vacations gift card. So congratulations. Okay. So with that in mind, I see again, we got lots of questions. So I'm going to kind of go through these questions and uh, uh, it actually looks like uh, we have a question uh, um, from Peggy as well. So uh, let's, let's kind of run through some of these uh, and uh, hopefully we'll answer as many as we can. So um, first one, can we add a side trip to Durango Silverton Steam Train Railroad as part of an Amtrak vacation? Great question. You know, um, we always can add extra items to any packages uh, as long as we have the option either by train or by rental car. Um, so what I would say is just uh, give us a call and, uh, and, and, and any of our reservation staff or certainly call your local travel agent um, who could help arrange that either with us or on their own with an Amtrak vacation package. So um, the answer is yes, we will find a way to include that uh, one way or the other. All right, so great question. Uh, let's see here. Da -da -da -da. Um, okay, <laughs> thanks. Great presentation. Thank you all. All right, just going through here. Um, let's see. Da -da -da. Okay, so uh, Marilena, from the price you are paying, uh, why isn't a room ad included? A uh, great question, Marilena. All pricing is based in coach seating with the option to upgrade to a room ad or a bedroom. And the reason why being is not everybody always wants a room ad or a bedroom. Some people are just looking for a very affordable way to travel. Um, and that's why we always price it at coach seating. But again, highly recommend and encourage uh, all of you to consider upgrading to a sleeper. Because again, not only do you have your own private accommodations, but you also get all of your meals included as well. All right, so good question. Uh, next one, let's see here. Da -da -da. Okay, going through. Thank you all. Um, how much would it be for a single traveler? Great question, John. Uh, so we have single rates. Obviously, it, it, does, it is more um, per person when you're a single traveler, uh, but certainly not as much as it would be if you were traveling on a cruise, for instance. Uh, but there is an extra charge for single travelers. It just depends on where you're looking to travel and when. And as many of you know, that applies to all travel companies, all different types of travel, whether it's cruises, um, whether it's uh, um, motor coach bus tours, uh, train vacations. Um, so just you know, let us know or your local travel agent where you're looking to go and when, and uh, we can be able to, to let you know what the single rate would be. Great question. Thank you, John. Uh, let's see. Da -da. Next one from Steve. Are the expenses, room and meals for hotel stays included in the Amtrak cost shown, or are they extra? If extra, what is the approximate cost per day, uh, room and meal? So Again, great question, Steve. So the prices shown today and also on our website, they're based in coach seating where no meals uh, are included as well as rooms. Now, again, if you upgrade to a roomette or a bedroom, all of your meals will be included during the overnight journey from one city to the next. Um, on an average, I could tell you for meals, uh, whether you decide to travel in coach or you upgrade, um, if you were to travel in coach as an example, Meals, uh, breakfast can range anywhere from, uh, you know, ten to twenty dollars. Lunches maybe twenty to thirty dollars, and uh, dinners maybe twenty-five uh, to thirty-five dollars um, on an average. And again, that's full course meals. So you can see the value when you certainly upgrade um, when you overnight on the train. Um, again, roomettes are by far our most popular category because on an average, again, it's only about. Uh, two to three hundred dollars extra per person to upgrade to a roomette from a coach seat. Okay, so um, great, great question. Okay, uh, next one from Vicky. Is there a smoking car? Great question, Vicky. There's not a dedicated smoking car, but they do make stops along all the journeys, and the um, the conductor will always announce uh, when there'll be a stop uh, to be able to get off and have a smoking break. So. Um, that's always announced. People certainly take advantage of that uh, who certainly uh, smoke. So, yep, it is available, but not in a particular car itself. Okay, so great question. Uh, let's see here. Da -da -da. Uh, from Brenda, are there senior discounts and accommodations uh, for blind passengers? Um, great question, Brenda. Uh, there definitely is a senior discount, of course. As I mentioned, um, it's 15%, 1-5, 15%. And again, that's on the rail 
portion of a package, okay, so whatever the cost of the, the rail is, uh, and accommodations um, for the blind passengers. Uh, we do have handicap accessible rooms, so yes, and I will tell you, any of the red cap service, which are a lot of the men and women located at the train stations, they're always available to help, as well as the staff on board the train. Um, certainly for any handicap accessible rooms needed, uh, they are there ready to help anytime, anywhere needed. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Tarika. Uh, congratulations. Yep, Peggy. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I'm just reading through these. Thank you. Uh, by the way, this will be recorded, so for any of you that uh, want to listen to it later or have friends and family who would like to uh, listen to it, please uh, feel free to uh, share it with them. That would be great. And let's see here. Uh, let's see. Uh, from Melissa. Okay, we've got a few questions. Thanks. Thank you, Melissa. Um, were all prices shown per person? Yes, all prices shown are per person. Can you bring your own snacks? Absolutely, Melissa. My wife uh, can attest to that as, again, we travel every year. I have three children ages uh, 12, 9, and 7, uh, so absolutely. Uh, and then I am planning on taking my children uh, from uh, – from North Dakota to Glacier, very nice, yeah, and it's a 12-hour trip. Can we bring our own food? Uh, again, you can. So don't feel you have to, you know, go to the snack car if you're in coach seating. Obviously, if you are in a roomette or a bedroom, as I've mentioned throughout, for anyone, all meals will be included if you upgrade to a sleeper, okay? Uh, let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, can you bring uh, a, do a dog under 10 pounds? Lily, thank you, Lily. Um, yeah, so um, service dogs obviously are allowed, and there's certain – train routes that allow um, uh, smaller dogs under 10 pounds. So I'm not sure exactly which train routes they are. So depending on where you look at a travel, Lily, uh, and when, just, you know, again, just let us know. Give us a call or contact your local travel agent, and they can tell you if that uh, would be available um, for you to bring um, your, your smaller dog. So, yep. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. Uh, is there power for medical equipment such as a CPAP from Kevin? Thank you, Kevin. Um, yes, there is, actually. So, yeah, you have plugs in your room uh, available. Now, what I will say, and I can actually speak firsthand to this, Kevin, because I actually use it myself. Um, they Obviously, plugs are available, but every so often, sometimes the power uh, will just turn off for a little bit and then turn back on, um, depending. So what I suggest is make sure your CPAP machine, if, if any of you need it, uh, make sure it, it is battery, it has batteries available as well, okay? Uh, but you, you will be able to plug it in most of the time, but again, it's, it's better to have it uh, on battery service uh, for any of the train routes, okay? Uh, let's see here. Um, yes, you can earn from Tony. Uh, you can accumulate um, uh, Amtrak guest reward points. So yes, you can um, you can earn points on any of these trips. So great question, uh, Tony. Uh, okay, and, and again, I see we have so many questions. So um, the last one I'll mention, let's see, how long are the stops during travel for smoke breaks? From Lynn, thank you, Lynn. You know, any of the stops, again, they can be anywhere from literally five to ten minutes up to 30 uh, minutes or so. And they'll always let you know and, and, and also let you know ahead of time for any of you that need to get off the train for a quick smoke break. So, and certainly that's available throughout the trip, whether it's a five, 10 minute stop or whether it's a 30 uh, to 45 minute stop, but um, they'll always make the announcements just so you have that um, option and flexibility, okay? So um, anyway, with that in mind, everyone, more than anything, let me just say sincerely, thank you all so much again for joining myself. I hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's presentation as much as I enjoyed presenting, and again, why not treat yourselves or treat your friends and family to a great holiday gift and plan a rail vacation of a lifetime? So on behalf of myself here at Amtrak Vacations, I want to congratulate again Peggy on winning our $100 Amtrak Vacations gift card. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us. If I did not get a chance to answer your question, please pick up that phone, give us a call, or contact your local travel agent and take advantage of our special booking offer. Again, Anytime from today up until December 27th, which is in two weeks from today, as long as you book with a small deposit to travel on any rail vacation next year and you upgrade to either a roomette or a bedroom, we will take $100 off per couple on your booking. So 
On behalf of myself and Amtrak Vacations, we look forward to seeing you, your friends, and family on board soon. Thanks so much, everyone, and happy, happy holidays. Take care.